I had a wonderful time in the seminary. It was a time of great excitement for me to explore and discern whether God wanted me to be a priest. I was thrilled and mesmerized by learning about scripture and theology. But the seminary, above all, laid down the foundation for who and what I am today as a priest and a bishop. Here at the seminary, we are forming the hearts of our future shepherds. They are discerning, considering, answering a call deep within their hearts to give their lives to us. And so this campaign helps those who are preparing for the priesthood, helps those who were recently ordained, that some of them come with great debt from their prior educational world, and helps those who have so faithfully walked with us and served us, have served you. Eleven years ago, the family's journey began bringing our son Patrick to the seminary as he discerned becoming a priest. As a parent, we wanted the best for Patrick, who's now a priest in the Cleveland Diocese. With the relationships I developed over the years with faculty and staff members, we often talked about how we can make this great place better. The buildings of our seminary are over 70 years old. They have one pump on campus that supplies heat. There's no air conditioning. One plug, imagine having one plug in your room for your alarm clock, computer, for music. Our seminary is long overdue to be updated. For these men, the seminary is their home. And I look at the fact that I lived there for nine years, that was home for me. The physical space needs to inspire men to say, this is a place of formation and it's an investment that I see that the seminary is making in me and they're taking my formation seriously. And it's saying, we value you enough to make sure that the environment in which you're being formed helps with your education, helps with your spirituality, and helps with your humanity. The living area of our seminary will be updated, creating a room that is soundproof, creating a space that is 40% larger for our college seminary and 60% larger for our theologians. We're also looking to add a lounge area that will allow them to socialize together, watch TV. There will also be places for group study and prayer. Besides the living space, we need to renovate Resurrection Chapel. This will be a place where many of them will find the clarity of their vocation. This will be the place where many of them will continue to find courage to serve as a diocesan or religious priest. The people of this diocese have supported our seminary in its many transitions. We look forward to this renovation project because this is our hope for the future. This will allow this structure to continue to serve the diocese, hopefully for 70 years and beyond. I think we absolutely have a responsibility to our priests. They lay down their lives for us. They're there every moment of our lives for us. They're there throughout the good times. And they're there not just to give us the sacraments, but to share in that celebration for us. They're part of it, they're like family. And they're there when the bad times come too. All the tough decisions and helping us with that burden and sharing that loss with us. If we have older people in our own families that retire, we step up to help them because they're family. Our priests are family too. They've always been there for us, and now we need to be there for them. Most graduates can reasonably expect to go into a good paying job after they leave college, and they can reasonably expect that they're gonna get promotions and pay raises on a regular basis. None of that is true for the seminarians. And I think the average debt for most seminarians is over $40,000. On a priest's salary, that's gonna be very tough to pay off. When I entered seminary out of high school, uh, I went into Borromeo, and at Borromeo we're educated at John Carroll, and also too, just part of that is there's a cost. I was able to get scholarships, but there was still some sense that I had to pick up loans, and I was responsible for paying them back.
After going through my years of formation here, I can appreciate what this building has done, and they've been so instrumental in my own formation. But then going out to the people of God, being with the people of God, being a shepherd for them, being a, a man that they can call father, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. We're very fortunate that we have our seminaries right here in this diocese, and we train our young men to become priests and to then serve us in our diocese. The people have an active role in their formation, which I think creates a different environment here, that they know the seminarians, they know them when they enter, they know them when they're in, and they know them when they're priests. When you look out from the altar upon that congregation, they should look pretty familiar to you because they've made you one of them. And I think that's one of the most beautiful ways that you see the relationship of the seminary reflected in the hearts and the minds of the people of the Diocese of Cleveland, because this is really a symbol that, that we all are one. We're a part of the same family. These men, in each of their own way, radiate the heart of a shepherd. What does that mean? To be compassionate like Jesus Christ, to be welcoming, to be forgiving, to offer God's love abundantly to everyone they need.